Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this is Vlogmas Day 20. Yes, 20. We about to wrap this Vlogmas up. We got about four more to go after this one, y'all. These Vlogmas have been so much fun. In the beginning, it took me a while to really get going. And, you know, I have a whole entourage of recipes in my arsenal. Right? Y'all haven't even begun to see them all. So I was just trying to figure out how to configure them with the holiday season and put more holiday. Of course, it had to be 75% holiday for Christmas and New Year. And then uh, other little items in there as I could go. So I wanted them to be, like I told y'all, it's going to be 80-90% cooking videos, which they have. Um, other than the Christmas video I did with my mom, I still was cooking. So every one of them, a couple of other one of them, a couple of them I was talking in, it all have been about cooking. So this is another thing. If y'all watched the previous video, I talked about Things I have on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, New Year's, this is one, cabbage. Cabbage means money. And that's what, I don't know if it's a southern thing or just a whole United States country thing or what. But money is cabbage. Some people use collard greens, some people use uh, mustard greens, but we grew up using cabbage. You know, that's a, that's a uh, nickname for money is cabbage. How much cabbage you got? in the country so yeah so what it is i'm using cabbage and onion and i'm gonna move y'all around here i got a pot here to, to speed up the video let me show y'all what i got in this pot here hold on just a second here y'all hold on just a second here let me get y'all moved around here move around here pretty good let me get something here okay here now, let me get y'all moved around here so y'all can kind of see what I got in the pot already cooking. Now, in this pot here, I got some ham hocks and some onions. Been simmering about two hours. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these ham hocks out of here. These are smoked ham hocks. Take these ham hocks out of here. See how tender they are? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take these ham hocks out of here. Look at the tender. Ooh, man, that's some good. Look at that. Look at that goodness right there, y'all. I'm going to take these out of here. You know, look what I got here. I got me a nice, rich stock here. Rich, flavorful stock. I got some garlic. I got some garlic in here and onions. And they've been simmering in that pork stock for about two hours. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice this, uh, slice this uh, cabbage up. And I'm going to take these onions that I have. I already have some chopped up in here. But I'm going to take this other honey and I'm going to julienne it, meaning just slice it really thin. And I'm going to add in there with the cabbage. And I don't need too much more liquid than this, y'all, in there. Because cabbage, you know, it has a lot of liquid in it also. So it's all about all the liquid I'm going to need in there. And I'm going to add this cabbage in here let it cook down really, really good. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to let these ham hocks uh, cool down. I'm going to pick the meat off the bone. And I'm going to add it back in that cabbage. This is very quick. The hardest part is getting you, if you got a uh, instant pot, I could do it in an instant pot. I do want to show y'all how to do it out initially. But uh, the hardest, longest part is getting the hem hawks cooked. And after that, uh, it's all easy from there. So anyway, I'm going to get the uh, carrots, uh, carrots, get the uh, cabbage sliced up. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going uh, uh, to uh, put this thing together. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay. Now I got my cabbage all cut up here. Look at that nice rich stock here. I got a little garlic in there. I'm going to put a little vinegar in there. So what I do, I put my onions in here. I already got the onions chopped in there, but I like the slice too. Now the cabbage here, all I'm going to do is add the cabbage. I like to cut my cabbage in big, big chunks, y'all. You can definitely shred yours. But I like putting mine in big chunks. And like I say, it don't look like a lot of liquid, believe me. It's more liquid than you need, because cabbage has a lot of water in it, y'all. A lot of water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this up. And let this cabbage do its thing. I like to cook it about 45 minutes or so. But in the meantime, remember these ham hocks? I'm going to take the meat off of them. Get that all ready to go into that pot. And let some cabbage get ready. I just fold that uh, a fold of ham hocks right into this uh, cabbage. 
And this is say cap is very easy, very simple. This is something I would usually do the day of, of course. This is gonna go in the freezer for my like I said on New Year's Day, I usually uh deliver a place for my neighbors for New Year's, start the New Year off right. Share it with neighbors. And then uh I'm gonna freeze this and I'll warm it up on New Year's Eve. And uh I mean New Year's morning. I'll take it out New Year's Eve. Go to throw out and then New Year's morning I'll warm it up and put it in the place and and deliver it around the neighborhood. So anyway. I'll be back here in about 30, 45 minutes once this cabbage is nice cooked up. We'll fold in these ham hocks and we'll have some nice braised cabbage and ham hocks for New Year's Day. Vlogmas Day 20 is almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I am back here. Okay, let me show y'all what I got. Let me turn these down. I'm definitely going to let these simmer here. Look at that. That's how I like my cabbage. Nice big chunks. Now, remember those ham hocks? that I had. I'm going to pull them in there. Fold them around in there. Y'all probably say, this man eats too much pork. I was raised on pork, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was raised on some pork. Now, I already seasoned them, y'all, with uh, I got some vinegar in there, a little salt and pepper. And uh, I put some black pepper in there. And this ain't got much longer, y'all, to cook here. One more thing my mom used to do. Hold on just a second. Now, she would take bacon grease and put it in there. I don't have bacon grease left over, so I'm going to put a nice little olive oil in there. She would pull that in there. She would, Like I said, she would use leftover bacon grease, which gave it so much more flavor. So I put a little olive oil in there, kind of give it a nice little shine and a little extra flavor there. So y'all, I'm going to let this cook just about five, six more minutes, and then we're going to take it off, and we're going to taste this here. Old school, old school uh, smothered cabbage, y'all, with ham hocks. New Year, Happy New Year for, for, for less for the money. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Y'all know I got to put some pepper sauce on here. Got some pepper sauce there. You know I got to have that on the cabbage. Look at this. Look at that cabbage, y'all. Mmm. I don't overcook mine. I have a little bite to them, not much. Not much. I don't want them mushy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wow, y'all. That's how you eat cabbage. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, I need me some cornbread, y'all. A lot of people like red pepper flakes on it. Another bite here. Mm. Mm. This had to be one of my favorite vegetables. Cabbage and cornbread. A little meat in there. You can put pigtails. I did it with pigtails before. Did it with ham shanks. I did it with the ham left over from the Christmas time. Use whatever meat you got, y'all. Use turkey, turkey sauce. You can do it with uh, uh, smoked sauce here. Mm. Whatever you got on hand. But anyway, Vlogmas Day 20 is in the books. So if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please. Follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021, help somebody old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye. Vlogmas day 20, done.